had a conversation with Commander earlier this morning, and he said something that, while I like know deep down, I haven't thought about for a while, and it's quite profound. He said, all character value is in-game modes. Or put another way, all character value is based on how they perform in game modes and what they can do in game modes and at first it seems like a pretty innocuous statement it's like yeah like you know the character is the car but the game mode is the racetrack if there's no racetrack for the car to go on then of course there's nothing to do with the car but spin it around in the body shop or the garage and look at it but then i thought it would be even more interesting to combine it with something that i had read earlier yesterday in the morning on reddit so over on Reddit, there's this really interest, in my opinion, it's interesting, um, discussion that says, hey, I love Marvel so much. Is this the game for me? This is a real post, okay? And it's so funny because having play, played this game for so long and having, and nowadays almost exclusively talking to people who already play the game, whenever I do talk to people that play the game, it's really unusual, uh, almost to the point of being startling, but also it's refreshing to hear someone want to pick up Marvel Future Fight for the first time. Like, think about it. When was the last time you actually saw someone in the wild, like a natural in the wild person who was like, I would like to play a Marvel game. Is this the Marvel game for like popping out of the ground like a meerkat, um, looking at Marvel Future Fight as potentially their next game? And they go on to say, you know, I'm looking for more Marvel content to consume. I played every console game except the Guardians of the Galaxy game. What's MFF like? Is it fun? Is the story good? Can I play as anyone? And the comments are really good. It's one of the few Reddit uh, threads that isn't full of toxicity and nonsense. Um, but it's really nice. But one thing that stands out besides the uh, politeness and general warmth and friendliness of the few people that are left on the Reddit uh, meme uh, besides that, what stands out to me is the fact that they highlight very clearly and very immediately, hey, listen, this is a collection game first. This is really interesting. And so they say, like, this is a collection game first, not an RPG. And so it, I, I often call Marvel Future Fight an ARPG, an action RPG. And it, it, it is an action RPG by all technicality. But it's just very interesting to see the indentured community, not indentured, but whatever, to, to see the active community, the sort of the loyal fan base, the hardcore fan base highlighting. Look at this. This 33 upvotes, which is a lot for the Reddit. As long as you come into this looking at Future Fight as a collection game first and foremost, rather than an RPG, you'll enjoy yourself. And then this other guy comes in, and also nine upvotes. I agree. And then they have a little conversation, right? And it, it actually gets repeated again later on, where they talk about the game being a collection game first and an RPG game second. And the reason why I want to bring up these two sort of competing ideas is because they are competing ideas. <laughs> and, it's, and it's interesting because Commander sees it from the other perspective, where he's saying, well, listen, it doesn't really matter that it's a collection game. If you have nowhere to use your collection, then it's not really a game. Right? It's it's literally just a static collection. And I've made a lot of memes about this in the past. I've boiled it down to, oh, that's the Barbie simulator. You know, I want to have a bit more of a nuanced conversation about it right now. But yeah, it is kind of the Barbie simulator. But listen, what I want to do here is it, it basically the, 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 the point I'm trying to make is that it has to be a balance. Right? And I'm now realizing that this online paint is garbage. So essentially what I'm trying to say and what this hopefully this graphic or this thing I'm trying to this horrible drawing that I'm going to make is trying to say is that I agree with both sides. I agree with Commander that the game is that the Marvel Future Fight is a game where the characters are based on you know their value comes from game modes. But I also agree with the people on Reddit that it's a collection game first and foremost. And I'm drawing this horrible scale to give you guys essentially what I you know the idea of what I'm trying to say. Right on the one hand, on the left side, we have the collection. Okay, so this is the like this is the Barbie thing, and this is the the way that the game basically makes it fun to collect and own all of these different characters, all of these different uniforms. Right, there's a lot of things that you can unlock. Like if you think about it, as as pay to win as the game is, or, or as pay to progress, pay to advance, whatever you want to call it, as the game is, you know they let you unlock. A silver surfer by beating galactus right how thematic and cool and free is that 
extremely the answer is extremely right most of the most popular characters are completely free you want captain america you want thor you want hulk iron man spider-man okay, uh, black widow all of the classic characters right all of your classic avengers and your most popular characters are all completely free and super easy to get super easy yeah sure you gotta buy their uniforms if you want you know different looks and whatever but you get my point right other games don't do this <laughs> other games don't do this at all um so the collection aspect of marvel future fight in my opinion is only going up right it's only getting better and better because it's something that basically just builds on itself it's 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 self uh perpetuating essentially right you don't have to build anything new necessarily you just sort of build on what's already there and the the building blocks go up and up and up and you know oh i'm making this this great wall right and it's just it's just easy it's it's easy on the other hand the actual like rpg aspect which is the aspect of the game that uh commander's talking about the game modes this has been on a bit of a, a downwards trend i don't want to call it a spiral i don't want to call it a shit show but it's definitely been on a downward spiral and the difficulty here that we see the devs experiencing repeatedly is that you can't just take this and move it over here you can't just take that idea and just we're just going to build on it and build on it and build on it it doesn't really work it works for certain content certain content it works for like dispatch like story mode yeah sure story mode and dispatch can work in a collection sense all right but other game modes uh like for example uh pvp they don't work like that and the game modes that need the most attention like pvp they suffer the most because of the fact that this basically gets neglected and so you know, I think realistically, the devs already know about this, but at the same time, I'm just not sure why they're so bad at addressing it. Um, there are small changes they could make to different game modes, small tweaks here and there, not even just rewards. I'm not even talking about rewards. I know a lot of people are going to jump to rewards, but I'm not even just talking about the rewards. I'm just talking about small tweaks here and there. And the issue, I think, is uh, money. So I, I do want to talk about, I mean, as much as I might want to speculate on, on why, um, you know, or what they can do, I think the why of it is more important because in the middle of this example is money and money sort of holds the whole tree together, right? Without money, this whole thing come, comes crashing down because obviously we know the game has to make money in order for it to keep fueling these aspects. The problem is the devs know how to turn this into money but they don't know how to turn the collection into money. I mean, the, the RPG into money. They only know how to turn the collection into money. And this is this is the issue, I think. This is the issue, I think, to put it in, in much simpler terms. They understand that if they release cool uniforms and if they release characters that are interesting or new or whatever, they don't even have to be meta. They'll still make a decent amount of money. And that's cool. You know, I can appreciate that we can have a so-called dead update, you know, or, or a lame update by some player standards where Ebony gets his his Space Hitler uniform and his Tier 4 and Thane gets his, his Phoenix Force uniform, but that still makes them money. Like, I can appreciate that, right? It's not for me, but it's, but it's for somebody else. But what I'm waiting for and what Commander is waiting for and what a lot of people are waiting for is when are they going to do this? When, when does this happen, right? When do... The other players get to have their cake because the players over here oh they're they've been eating good they've been eating good my friend for a long time and that's cool i'm, I'm happy for you really i am um but what happened you know when do, when does this when does this happen right when when do you guys actually focus on the rpg aspects of the game um and actually focus on the game modes because the balance is completely out of whack right now. I know it doesn't seem too imbalanced right now, but realistically, it's more like it's more like this, right? Where one of the things is is so much more important than the other thing. And actually, I screwed up the way I talk about. The, I screwed up the the visual example because on a scale like this, the one that gets more attention should be heavier. I just like it's sort of like a bottom top thing where it's like people think whatever's at the top is better. So I kind of I kind of confused myself. I threw myself off. Anyways, the thing that's heavier on a scale should be the one that's being more focused on. So collection should technically be 
lower down there so i know i've said this before i've talked about game modes i've talked about pvp i've talked about small changes um that need to happen to you know in improve things and and get players to to use a wider variety of their roster um unfortunately i don't know if those ideas are money making ideas so maybe that's why we've never seen them implemented um i don't want to be too cynical about it you know i do think pvp is still salvageable in marvel future fight and i think other game modes are still salvageable i think story can still be you know i mean th these game modes are not bad necessarily but i i think that they, you know they will become bad if they continue to be neglected you know heroic quest stuff like that not not just pvp right there's other game modes that have just been neglected for so long um even things like shadowland you could argue um could be better based on you know their, their potential right they have so much potential um there's a really good framework and a really good foundation in marvel future fight and unfortunately the rest of the house that is built on that fan foundation has not been maintained or upkept very well from an rpg point of view right from a collection point of view it has so i think the best way to end this um example and to end this uh, allegory i guess uh is or metaphor is with the following image Okay, so here we see the collection aspect of Marvel Future Fight, the Barbie simulator, if you will. Very well kept, you know, lots of new things, technology, all this stuff, you know, but the, the house is very well maintained and clean and huge, right? And even, even around the house, it's very well manicured and etc. And then we look at the game mode house. <laughs> this is the house that technically built the game right when the game didn't have a lot of characters when the game didn't have a lot of uniforms why did people stick around they stuck around because of this bad boy right so we know this bad boy has good bones it's just, he's got a strong foundation right got strong legs but obviously it's in disrepair there's rust everywhere there's there's um, moss right there's windows and doors missing the the around the house is all overgrown the shrubbery um, but we know that this can be beautiful too we just need the devs to you know throw in a fresh coat of paint on there go put in some new windows and doors right spray some some febreze up in that thing and hire a, a, some maintenance some lawn care maintenance to just trim all those hedges right that's all we're asking for. we're just asking for a little bit of this over here anyways hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think thank you so much for watching smash the like button if you enjoyed the content and i'll see you in the next one take care